So we call these complex fractions. And when we're using complex fractions, we need to remember to use keep, change, flip. I'm going to set up three, three example problems to show how, as much as these look like they're confusing, they're really just dividing fractions. This one equals 1 divided by 2 thirds, so we would rewrite that as 1 divided by 2 thirds. And remember in keep, change, flip, we keep, we change, we flip. So we're going to keep the 1, change the symbol, and flip the second fraction. Because 1 is a whole number, it's really just 1 over 1, and then you would just multiply straight across. We're going to take number 2, 2 divided by 3 over 11. So here's the bigger line. This means that it's 2 divided by 3 over 11. Keep, change, flip. And now we're going to show the invisible one. And finally, I'll do number 3 setting it up, 8 divided by 9, over or divided by 6. So this is 8 ninths divided by 6. And what is 6? It's really 6 over 1. So we're going to keep 8 over 9, change the symbol, flip the fraction. And I'm not positive exactly what you were assigned by Mrs. Forsyth last week, but when I'm going to grade these pages, I'm going to be looking at pages 20 to 24. Numbers 1 through 4. 6 through 9, and then you'll turn the page, and we're going to skip over here now to these problems. We're going to do numbers 20 to 27, and then we're going to do a little bit of review from 5th grade math. Back here you're going to do on page 24. Numbers 34 to 39. Numbers 34 to 39 are conversion problems. And you're going to be converting from feet to inches, tons to pounds, gallons to quarts, other measurements. You may not remember all of those measurements, but if you go to the back of the room on my back bookcase that's above the countertop, you'll find this book called Math on Call. And if you turn to section 535, I believe it is. Five thirty-five has the metric system. Five thirty-six has the customary system. So here's going to have centimeters and liters. And then if you turn the page, you'll find inches and feet and all of those other measurements. So I'm going to say this starts on page 535 of Math on Call. When those problems are finished, I'll expect you to put your book away and then get to ST Math for the day. I'm here for questions to help you after you finish the video if you get stuck on anything. And yes, you can use a calculator to do this work. So we're looking at these problems. You might also be using this book. And you can use a calculator today.